This is terrible. <laughs> In today's video, we are taking several hundred rice cakes to see if there is any viable way to turn them into a raft that can hold a human's body weight. You need a little bit more variety in what you shop for, I think. No. Um, guys, we have some rice cakes. These, when you eat them, I think most people's first impression is like, hey, that tastes like styrofoam. Flavor, like, this is, uh, I think, we're lightly eating salted styrofoam. We're eating the extra pack, as if we don't have enough extra packs. This is the lightly salted one here. Which is the least flavored of all of the flavors that we have, I believe. So I thought, you know, these taste like styrofoam and they kind of feel like styrofoam when you're chewing on them. I'm sure there are good qualities about them. I'm not sure what, but I was curious <laughs> sure what. if they float like styrofoam. Here's the basic idea. We have 1,316 rice cakes. We're gonna put these through a series of experiments and after that, see if there's any way that we can build a raft that can hold a human's body weight. The main problem being, if you guys have ever, I don't know if you have, if you've ever accidentally dropped one of these into the water, you know that they disintegrate very quickly. I think it, even if we make this a viable raft, it's only gonna last a couple of seconds. Not good for traveling over the long distances. Probably not. However, uh, there were a few other things that you said you wanted to try before we stick these in the water. Yeah, you know, while we've got rice cakes, we should really explore them. Uh, we'll throw one in a vacuum chamber, see if they expand at all. I think you might be interested in seeing if they can burn. Weird. Shocking, I know. Every one of these packs says, do not heat in toaster or microwave. So we're gonna have to try that and Put see what it does. Put these in the microwave immediately. One, one rice cake. 99 minutes. Of course. <laughs> it's warm-ish. Here's the weird part, it feels like it's steaming. Feels like it's steaming. My hands aren't wet, but it, like it's... Oh, I get what you mean, yeah. yeah. It's not steam, but it feels like it's... It, it might be steam. It might be steam, but well, my hands are dry, so. I'm gonna put it up, no! Okay, I'll do a different one. I'm gonna put one upright. It's a little bit crispier, I think. Okay. Okay, hang on, let me see if I can, aha, I can balance it. Okay, perfect. There we go, that'll be more interesting. It smells kind of like burned popcorn. Oh, yeah, I smell smoke. Yes, glorious. That is a very <laughs> crispy rice cake. So the reason I tell you not to put it in the microwave is because it burns. Most things do if you leave them in for long enough. <laughs> I bet they also set on fire. Okay, we're starting to get smoke. A little bit of golden color. I think they look toasted, so I'm gonna pop it up. It's not a very appetizing looking toast. What exactly? It didn't really turn golden brown, it sort of turned grayish brown. It smells like burning plastic now. Mm, yeah, it just tastes burnt. Like you take that styrofoam flavor and make it burnt. Well, now I get why they say not to toast them. That was quick. Way quicker than the toaster. Doesn't stay on fire. Oh no, it's on fire. Yep. Yep. Doesn't like to go out. Wow! Like a trick candle. Okay, so rice cakes, if you light them on fire, don't, don't go out. This is why they're my favorite snack food. Yeah, so rice cakes. Maybe good fire starters. Maybe. Good fire holders. Sure. Yeah. On to the next thing. Try a vacuum chamber. Seems to be doing a whole lot of nothing so far. Okay, I'm gonna open this valve a lot and I'm sure the rice cakes can move around from all the air rushing in. Flying rice cake. Seems unaffected in every way. Now I think it's time to see if we want to try and float a human body on these. All right. So I actually did a few initial tests with rice cakes. I was taking just little magnets and just seeing how many of these I could set on top of a rice cake in a bowl of water before it would sink. So we wanna see if we get the same results today. It's floating. It is. It's two, four, 11, 12, 15. What kind did you, uh -oh. what flavor did you use? Uh, and we're down. All right, so that's like about 15 and now we've got water spilling over the edge. So by the rules of Titanic, 
that qualifies as no longer floating. So now we need to test a new rice cake because this one is a- uh, No longer a cake. Floppy. Floppy. More of a rice pudding. Let's try stacking two rice cakes on top of each other. See how much they hold. You're gonna double it. I'm gonna double the weight. Okay. It's floating. It's floating, just barely. The balance isn't great still. The balance is not great, but also it's gonna start sinking soon because our rice cakes are gonna be absorbing water, of course, so. But it is floating. Yep. I think it probably could, uh, you can take one more. Look at that, I balanced it out. Perfect. Fixed it. So that should be 25. Yes. And we are getting so, so close to one quarter pound. One one hundredth of a pound off, basically. So we can just call that quarter pound. Yep, so we will need 1,080 rice cakes to hold my body weight. You weigh 226 pounds? A little over 77 packs of rice cakes. Let's uh, make it an even 80. Yeah, yeah, please, let's do that. Six, seven. I feel like we should start playing Tetris. Here, I made you a paddle. It's made of rice cakes, kind of. Thank you. You're welcome. One. Oh no. No. Two. Nate, I'm no. not gonna throw it, I'm just lifting up high okay. enough. Three. Let's, there we go. It. Okay. I'm trying to stay on the ledge, under the water. Oh, and, they go, and we're losing them, and we're losing them. Well, so far that looks like it's floating really well and Fantastic. very, very, look how high that is <laughs> off the bottom. <laughs> That's floating super high. It doesn't look, it's like, and nope, they don't even want to touch the water. In my defense, this whole project was Nate's idea. Okay. It's not really holding itself together well, but so far you're floating. <laughs> no, no more speaking. You're half floating? Oh no. <laughs> Why is it holding me? You're floating. It's holding all my body. Your legs are probably in the water, but you're floating. I've been on inner tubes that held me up a lot less. This is fantastic. This is great. This is... Yep. Whee! Just grab your shoulder. Uh-huh. Don't let go, Jack! Can I let go? <laughs> That's floating great. Woo! I mean, it's not the stablest raft in the world, but you are floating. On rice cake. Quite well, like you're completely out of the, like it's it's not even halfway this sunk. It's actually much, much easier to do than when we were trying it the other way, when I fell you Yeah, on yeah. It. So if we hadn't been stingy with our duct tape, this thing would just be like, yeah. solid. And I'm going to test my flotation devices. Oh boy. <laughs> my flotation devices are just on my arms. This isn't really so much of a float on top of the water as it is a don't drown sort of thing. Now I know how to swim, but it's just in concept. You're in a hot tub. Where do you think you're gonna go? I could. It's <laughs> a great point. All right, here goes. Well, that's actually making me look quite nice. Let me exhale so I don't have natural buoyancy. You sunk, but you still stayed up. I am not touching the ground at all. I can feel it completely on my arms. <laughs> You're floating with six packages of rice cakes. All right, so here's the lesson. If you're on a ship mm -hmm. and it's sinking and there are lots of rice cakes and some duct tape around, grab it. <laughs> Quickly lash together a flotation device. <laughs> I would also recommend really sealing up the openings of the rice cakes. Oh yeah. So the next plan, now that we know that you can float on them in the packages, we're taking them out of the packages, wrapping them up in the same little shape that they come in, and then we're gonna try and tape all of these together. We didn't wanna use duct tape because we were afraid that might weigh it down, uh, but we also didn't wanna cheat and make anything that would be too floaty. So we're using paper masking tape. It's not staying together great, but hopefully it won't affect the weight or the buoyancy of the rice cakes themselves. Well, I think our rice cake floating platform, I don't wanna call it a boat, but rice cake raft. Rice cake raft. It's held together with a couple kinds of tape, and I, I mean, it's, it's, the SS Quaker. it's stable enough that it, you know, it's holding itself together. 
But once it hits the water, our poor SS Quaker may not survive very long. So Callie's gonna have to try and get on fast because it's going to lose structural integrity within like a minute, I'm guessing. So let's see if it can hold her. Three, two, one. A little bit. No. Okay, hang on. Not like a boat, but. <laughs> but I am. Oh, hang on. Like oh. a like a like a bad raft. Make sure it quick before it dies. Get on, get on. Go, 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 go. I guess it's sort of holding me up. This is just a bag of bush. It's a bag of bush held together with duct tape. I'm not drowning though, so you know. We lost half of the rice cakes that we had counted out because they had already been destroyed from our last adventure. So now we just have a hot tub full of mud. This looks disgusting. It's a cold hot tub. It's not heated at the moment. No. Uh, I just boy, want we're gonna. Want to know that this. We gotta clean this thing. This smells as bad as it looks. Mmm, ricey. Yeah. <laughs> There's our bag of rice cake mush. Uh -huh. Let's take it out before it contaminates the entire tub. Oh no! <laughs> Nate. Uh huh. Can you make a raft out of rice cakes? Yeah. <laughs> Does yeah, it you work? Can. It works okay if you leave it in the packaging. I don't recommend removing it from the packaging. This is disgusting. It is. This might be in the top three grossest things we've done. Guys, that was super gross, but really fun. And you know we've always got more for you to see. Go ahead and click that box up at the top to see our latest video, and we'll talk to you in the next one. See you then.